What up guys, your boy JMAT95 with another video. And now today's video is about a new mod I just got installed. I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't get to film the install because when I went to get a quote, the shop I went to said that they would be able to do it at that exact moment. I took a few pictures here and there, not much, but to give you guys an idea of how the install looked. So at first we thought we had to take the bumper off. So as you can see in the pictures, they put it on a ramp. So after we put it on a ramp, they proceeded to take off the bumper, just let it hang a little bit. So right in the center of the lower grill, above the splitter, I wanted to get it right there. But at first it was some difficulties. There weren't really much to work with, with what the equipment came with. As far as the, the handles that screw into the side of the light bar to hold it on. So we didn't use the factory handles that came with it. We used the, they, they made custom handles out of sheets of metal. And that's what they used to grill it to the upper part of the bumper. They also cut out a hole because it would stick out. There was not, if it sticks out, there's nothing to hold it. So what they did was they cut out the vent, the honeycomb vent, so the light could be pushed back a little bit, which it looks nice. And with the sheets of metal that they made, they drill two holes upward, so it's pretty sturdy. And yeah, it came out really nice. At first, it was a lot of experimenting, trial and error, trying to figure out how to put it. But two gentlemen that worked on it, they did an awesome job. And you know, they, they recommended other places I could put it. But I was like, no, because this is a mod I plan to have forever, of course, because I plan to keep the car forever. So I don't want to put it somewhere. They wanted to put it on top of the splitter. I don't want to put it on top of the splitter and then, you know, a few weeks looking back saying, nah, I don't like it there. I should have put it here, so on and so forth. So they worked with me. They made the whole custom metal thing and they got it where I wanted it. All right, guys, as you can see in this clip, it comes with a remote. There are four letters, A, B, C, and D. The first letter, A, that is to turn on your bright, steady white light. The second letter, B, turns on your red and blue light, steady. C is your pattern button. When you press it multiple times, it shows different patterns. So each time you press it, it changes the pattern. As you can see here, obviously, if it's daytime and I'm inside the vehicle, I can't see it, but, you're not supposed to be driving with flashing lights anyway, so that really doesn't matter. Last but not least is the letter D. With the letter D, that turns off, that kills everything. It's the kill switch. But if you press D again, it goes back to the last mode that you had it in. So, if you had it in flashing white lights and you press D and you kill it, and then you press D again, it goes back to flashing white lights. If you had flashing red and blue, strobe, whatever, it will go back to the mode that you were last in. That is the light bar. Pretty good. Uh, it looks neat. It fits right in, right in between the splitter rods. And, you know, the guys at AutoSign Security did a great job. So, shout out to them. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.